Hey you, yeah you, are you ready to rock out with some, like, serious spiritual exploration? I mean, who isn't? Well said, because that's what we're diving deep into today. It's Endless Refrain's newest album. It's called Octagon. I'm so ready for this. Me too. Really? Yes. These Aussie rockers, they're not messing around. No kidding. What's the vibe? For anyone who hasn't heard them before. Think Faith, but woven into every single riff, every lyric. But it's not just surface level stuff. We're talking real raw struggles. The kind we all face, right? Exactly. But here's the thing. They weave in this honesty, this hope. It's incredible. I love that. Meeting people right where they're at. Totally. Okay, so you ready for this? Mm. We're unpacking three tracks. Not one, not two, but three. Hit me with it. Gateway to Hell. The final round. And just one. Just one! That's a curious title. Right? It gets better. It was a bonus track. Added because a fan basically said this needs to be out in the world. Yeah. Talk about the power of one voice. Wow. That's amazing. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. Buckle up. <laughs> Because Endless Refrain does not hold back. Yeah. And today we're going to figure out why that's a good thing. I'm intrigued already. What I love about Endless Refrain is how they tap into these really universal experiences. We're talking tech addiction, those inner battles, you know, the ones we all fight. Mm, yes. Yeah. Those inner battles are the worst. The worst. And that desperate need for connection, right? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And they just lay it all out there, all the raw emotion, no holding back. It makes their music so relatable. It's true. It's like they're giving a voice to all that stuff we bottle up. And they do it through this incredible wall of sound rock that just grabs you and doesn't let go. The best kind of rock. The best. Yeah. So let's talk Gateway to Hell. Okay, let's go there. The inspiration for this one is pretty interesting. It actually came from a quote by John Cooper from Skillet. Oh, wow. Another legend. Love Skillet. Right. Another giant in the Christian rock world. So Cooper said that giving your kid a smartphone is like giving them a gateway to hell. Oh, wow. Intense? Intense is right, right. Yeah, for sure. So that's what sparked this whole song. Wow, it's a powerful image, you know? It is. It really speaks to the anxieties people have about technology, especially for younger generations. It's scary. I mean, what Endless Refrain does so well is they take an image like that and they don't just like touch on it, they run with it. Oh, they run with it and they don't let go. They really grab you right from those opening lines, like gateway to hell in the palm of your hand, every flick of the screen, another grain of sand. It's like you instantly feel that pull. Oh, totally, that addictive quality of our devices. Right, it's chilling. It is chilling, but also kind of impossible to deny, like most of us can relate to that in some way. 100%, and for me, it gets even deeper when they start singing about trading moments of life mm -hmm. for that digital haze. It makes you think about what we're giving up just chasing that next like or that notification buzz. It's so true. We get sucked in. And I think that's what Endless Refrain captures so well here, that feeling of being in this vortex. A vortex of doom scrolling. Yes. Like mm. we're digging our own graves with every swipe. Oof. That's a heavy image. It is. But such a powerful metaphor for how we can get totally lost in that virtual world. Lost in the sauce. But then just when you think it's going to stay bleak, there's this shift, right? They sing about how he's calling us to come home, to put down your phone. You are not alone. It's like this breath of fresh air, like a lifeline out of that digital noise. Right. It's that classic battle for our attention. And Endless Refrain isn't subtle about where they stand. Like for them, the answer is unplugging from the noise and plugging into something bigger. Exactly. But what I appreciate is it never feels like they're pointing fingers or being judgmental. No, not at all. It's more of an invitation. To really look at ourselves. Like when they sing, battery feeling flat, plug into him. It's kind of cheeky, you know. Mm. But you can't help but think, what if I treated my spiritual life like my phone? Like actively recharging in ways that actually matter. It's a good question. We're so quick to plug our phones in every night, but what about our souls? Where are we finding that renewal, that connection that truly feeds us? It's such an important question to ask ourselves, especially now when tech is everywhere, all the time. It's inescapable. And you know what I love? Endless Refrain isn't afraid to ask those tough questions. They don't shy away from the heavy stuff. And the final round, that's our next song, they go even deeper there. It's like they move from that digital wrestling ring to a whole other level of fight. You know, the one we have within ourselves. Oh, I know that fight well. They totally nailed it using the boxing ring as this metaphor for our inner struggles. Like that feeling of being up against the ropes. Exhausted. Wondering what you're even doing there anymore. Yes. Exactly. We've all been there. Wondering if we've got the energy to get back up. It's that moment when you're just done, you know? Ready to tap out. 
An endless refrain captures that perfectly, right from that first line. What is worth fighting for? When you're on the floor, what gets you back up? <sighs> it's like a punch to the gut. It hits hard. And so many of us have been there, right? Wondering if we have the strength to keep going, to get back up again. It's those moments, though, that really test us. And I think that's what this song is getting at. It's in those moments of doubt when we're at our lowest that we have to look for a source of strength beyond ourselves. It's not about just digging deeper within. It's about tapping into something bigger. And that's where faith comes in, right? Because they have this one line that really stood out to me. It says, he was marred beyond recognition when he gave his all to set you free. It's powerful imagery, isn't it? So powerful, but also kind of confusing. Yeah. Because are they saying that we have to go through that level of suffering, that we have to be marred beyond recognition to find freedom? Or is it pointing to something else? You totally hit on something there. Because for me, it immediately brings to mind the sacrifice of Christ. That idea that he willingly took on unimaginable pain, that he was marred beyond recognition to offer us grace, to offer us freedom. So it's not about us having to endure the same level of suffering. It's about recognizing that it's already been done for us. Yes, exactly. Someone else has already been in the ring, fighting our corner, absorbing the blows. It's like they're saying, even when you're bruised, when you're knocked down, you're not alone in that fight. And that can be a huge source of strength when you're feeling lost and defeated. It's that reminder that you're loved, even when you feel unlovable, especially when they go on to ask, who believes in you? When you're black and blue, who's cheering you on? Like even with faith, we still need that human connection, right? Absolutely. We need those people who see us, who remind us of our worth, who cheer us on when we forget how to do it for ourselves. It's about finding our people, our tribe, the ones who remind us what we're fighting for. So, so good. And that actually brings us perfectly to our final song. It's called Just One. And man, they really go there. Yeah, this one's a bit of a tearjerker. Seriously. It almost didn't even make it onto the album. I know. Can you imagine? A fan heard it and was like, the world needs to hear this. And thank goodness they did. It's heavy, no doubt, dealing with self-harm, suicidal thoughts. But they handle it with such honesty and vulnerability. It's less about those actions and more about the desperation that leads someone to feel like that's their only option. It's a cry for help. Those repeating lines, just one more cut, just one more pill. It's, it's like this raw plea for escape. It's heartbreaking. But then there's this shift, like even in the midst of all that pain, a flicker of something else comes through. Right. Just one ray of hope. Just one shifting they care. It gets me every time. It shows how even the smallest act of kindness that just one person showing they care can be everything. It's like those two words, just one. They carry the weight of all the pain, but also that tiny glimmer of hope. And I think it's so powerful that it was just one fan who knew the world needed to hear this song. Just one voice making a difference. It really speaks to the impact we can have on each other. A listening ear, a moment of connection, these things can truly save a life. So powerful. And really, that's what Endless Refrain does so well with this entire album, Octagon. They tackle these massive issues, you know, technology addiction, those inner demons we all struggle with, and that deep human need for connection. It's a lot. It's a lot, but they do it with such heart, such rawness and honesty, you can't help but feel seen, you know? Totally. They meet you right where you're at. Yeah. And ultimately, I think they leave you with a sense of hope, this reminder that even when things are tough, you're not alone. Not at all. There's strength in community, in faith, and sometimes all it takes is just one to make all the difference. And on that note, go check out Octodon if you haven't already, and keep an ear out for their next albums. They've got Still Standing and a Christmas album on the way. Endless Refrain is on fire right now, and we are here for it. Here for it. And as you're listening, maybe ask yourself, where do you find your strength? Who are those people in your corner cheering you on? How can you be that just one for someone else? Let's keep this conversation going.